Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. It's going to be a new Will I Buy It. This is the series that I post every single Wednesday. I'm going to chat with you over some new makeup releases and let you know my thoughts on them and talk about what I'm interested in picking up for myself and what I'm going to be passing over. Thank you to everyone who joined me for last week's episode. It was number 200, so it was an exciting one. You know what's weird is that I really didn't think so I, I I don't know why I I missed episode 100 completely didn't even know we were getting to the 100th episode it wasn't until afterwards someone commented and said wow I can't believe you've done over 100 of these and I was like maybe I should have done something for episode 100 so I was like oh I'll do it for 200 and I really didn't expect like such an outpouring of excited messages and feedback and people saying like what it's like amazing that you've done like you've been consistent enough to do 200 episodes of something and to show up every single week like I have come back every single Wednesday Wednesday for so many years through anything and everything you can always count that I'm gonna have a will I buy it up on a Wednesday through vacations through sickness through everything like I've this is what I've done on a Wednesday on my channel so I, it really meant a lot to me to read that kind of feedback so thank you because there's been times where I have filmed super late on a Tuesday because I have been traveling and then I'm editing it until 3 o'clock in the morning just to make sure I have it up by Wednesday morning like there's been times where I've had to film way ahead of time and because this is more of a timely video spins that I've tried to do to still make it a will I buy it but able to film six days in advance because I'm going out of town or something so I definitely just really appreciate the feedback so thank you to everyone who joined me last week for number 200 um, I was having a little bit of a rough day but it definitely reading the comments like way cheered me up so thank you still not having the best hair day over here but I think it's I've just decided I just you know I need a haircut I'm sure a lot of us are in that boat um, I don't really want to cut my own hair because I am desperate for a haircut but I'm not desperate to make it worse and that's what would happen if I cut my own hair. So I'm to the point where like I just always want my hair up because I'm like there's nothing I can do with this anyways. <laughs> so we have gotten to that point of quarantine that I'm just so over my own hair. <laughs> It is what it is, you know? We're just all trying to make it through, okay? I so just wanted to say thank you. If you haven't seen last week's episode or you'd be interested in checking out some of the past ones, I will definitely have my playlist linked in the, in the description box. I also always link my community playlist. I started that so any creator who makes this style of video can add theirs. And if you want to see what a bunch of different people are thinking about this, I thought it'd be a really fun thing to do when more and more of these videos started popping up. And yeah, just a fun way to meet other people and see what others are thinking about some new makeup releases. So I will have those linked, but let's go ahead and start off. So I'm gonna be reading from Trendwood One this week. I think is where I got everything this week. I'll always link her in my description box. I'm gonna go ahead and scoot over, try not to fall, fall off my bar stool. I said I've definitely gotten a lot of tags on. One is a new quad from Charlotte Tilbury. So she is coming out with um, some new products. I talked about the bronzers last week and I did say that I was interested in them. I do get some PR from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, um, I don't really know what come like what's coming and what's not gonna come so I'm not sure if I'll get the bronzers if not I'm just gonna purchase one because I'm very interested in them and I would really like to try them so uh, but she's also coming out with a new luxury palette of mattes in desert haze this is $53 and inspired by Charlotte's iconic all matte sultry smoky eye looks <sighs> Okay, so I do have on one of Charlotte's quads today. This is the mauve one that came out in her recent uh, eye color collection with the mauve palette, the green palette, the blue palette, the copper palette. I have some of the shades in the mauve one on today. I just wanted to do something really fast and easy. I'm filming kind of later. I actually don't have foundation on. I just have some concealer on, some cream products on today um, i did do a lip video for my instagram that will be coming over there it's a requested lip combo that i saw come through in the comments so i did a whole instagram video on it because i got a lip liner a lipstick and a lip gloss on um, and i just thought i would do something really fast on my eyes so i just grabbed out one of those quads and boom boom it was real simple to do so i do always link all of my makeup in the description box also if you're ever curious on what i am wearing but 
I do really like those quads that came out. I didn't really expect to enjoy them as much as I did. I really like the mauve and I really like the green palette actually, which I don't even wear a lot of greens, but I really do like that one. They are just pricey, $53 for four shades. That's very expensive for sure. I do, I do really like mattes and I do really like all matte palettes and I do like all of the shades in this one. I, to me though, it almost is a little bit like, to me, it reminds me a little bit more fall. Whereas as we go into the warmer weather, warmer weather months, like not that I don't ever wear like warm tones on my eyes, that's completely false. But I just, I think sometimes if this was coming out as we were going into fall weather, I would be like hyped for it for sure. But as we go into spring and summer, I'm just at, I'm just looking for something a little bit different. So I can't say when I saw this, I was like, yes, but I had to give it a double take because I was like, Ooh, all mattes. And I like all of these shades. They all, I mean, all of them look really nice. It seems like this would be a palette that would be really quick to put looks together with, which is why I said I liked the quads. And again, I mean, that's why I wore it today. I was like, ah, I need something really fast on my eyes. I can't be blending forever. I can't be using a thousand shades. Boom, went into that quad and everything came together super well. I'll say between the two of the bronzer and the eyeshadow palette, personally, I'm going to go for the bronzer myself. Uh, but again, if that one does happen to come in PR too, I could definitely do some looks with it and let you know what I think because it definitely also grabbed my attention, but I'm more interested in the bronzer right now. Very excited about that one. All right. I also got, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of eyeshadow palettes that are really expensive. Mm, next up, let's just move over to my next girlfriend. This is Pat McGrath. Ooh, she's coming out with the sister to the Divine Rose palette, which I've already talked about how I've been eyeing the Divine Rose and trying to talk myself out of it. Now we got sister coming in. This is the Mothership 8. Hopefully I read that right. The Divine Rose 2 Artistry palette. Includes 10 shades with matte shimmeries, duo chromes, and metallic finishes. Will be available June 15th online at Sephora and the Pat McGrath website. And it's just a cool $125. And not like $1.25. It's $125. Mmm! Mmm! Pat! What are you doing to me? But why is this so beautiful? This one and just, just plain Divine Rose. Now I got Divine Rose too. What am I supposed to do? I like them both. Do I want to spend $125 on one eyeshadow palette? Boop. No. I don't want to. But I want to. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to, but I want to. You get it. I know you get it. You just hit, hit the like button if you get it. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I'm probably not going to buy either palette. I, I'll, just, I'll, I'll just I'll just, be honest with you. I don't think I'm going to unless I have a really weak moment. A real weak moment, you know? And if there's like 50% cash back offered at Sephora, you know, maybe I would go for it then. Or if like all of a sudden I got an email from Sephora and they're like, hey, you know those $100 gift cards that are impossible to get? We're just going to give you one. Yeah, if something like that happened, I would say like perhaps I would get one of these palettes. They both look so beautiful. Ah. What do you guys think of these? Who's going to get it? I mean, I'm going to watch people's videos who get it and I'm going to be jealous of them, but it's just a lot. Okay. 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 Um, but wait, there's more. There's more. It's a collection. It's not just a palette. It's a collection. So the collection includes the Lip Trio. So this is $80. You get the Divine Rose Gloss, the Suburbia Lip Pencil, and the Soft Core Matte Trance Lipstick. All of those look beautiful. Like the photos. <sighs> Why does Pat make it so hard for me to say no to things? Like I just, man, that all looks beautiful. Um, then we have the eyeshadow palette that I already talked about. Or you can get the Divine 1 and 2 palettes for $230. So, you know, like a slight discount there. And you could use that money that you saved by purchasing the two palettes together. And you could buy enough ramen noodles to live off for the month since you spent all your money on the eyeshadow palettes. 
Okay, so I mean, I'm having a hard enough time with the one palette. I'm probably not going to purchase the two. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. But also the lip bundle. I mean, Pat, she did great. That was like beautiful. I love those tones. Oh. But it's like $80 for a gloss, a lipstick, and a pencil. Again, I probably shouldn't do it. Should I? I mean, I I really like, that's what I have on today. I have a lip pencil, I have a lipstick, and then I have a gloss. It's like, it's a real nice trio, you know? I shouldn't do it though. Should I? No, I shouldn't do it though. Or should I? Just move on, because I could like hem and haw over this all day, okay? Next up, I see a mascara that is coming from the beauty so this is a two-in-one legit lashes double-ended mascara all right so it's called legit lashes and it's double-ended mascara a long-lasting matte black dual-ended mascara supposed to give lashes major volume dramatic curl lift and length so you get two full-size mascaras in one dual-ended pack two brushes two different formulas and this is going to be $27 you use the volume side first before layering on the curl and length side will be available May 20th online and also will be at Sephora I kind of like the idea of getting the two mascaras in one I don't I will say I, I don't really layer my mascaras often and I don't know I don't I, I don't know because there's sometimes where I want to like even today I'm testing out a new mascara from CoverGirl and I'm like huh I like it but I almost wish it had like a little bit more oomph but I, I don't know if it's because like I'm testing it so obviously I can't layer another mascara on it if that's maybe comes into to play but I'm like I kind of like the idea of that because I feel like if it's just one mascara I would be more prone to using both ends of it. Does that make any sense? I Hopefully some of you know what I'm saying. Or maybe one day you're like, hey, I just need a little bit of volume, or one day you just need a little bit of curled length, but then some days you can do both. And for $27, I mean, that's obviously more of a high-end price, but it's not like incredibly out there for being the two for deal. Kind of interested in this one too. Ah, was I saying last week that I feel like my Sephora cart already has so many items in it and I'm just sitting here like, what just happened? Like there was just a sale. What, ha what, what's hap, what's happening? I have no idea. That one looks really fun too. Kind of curious to try that one out. Ha, huh. okay, okay then. All right, so let's move on. Uh, so Juvia's Place is coming out with a new palette. I did get an email from Juvia's Place saying that they are sending this one to me, um, which is cool. So I've gotten a few things in the past from Juvia's Place and PR, but this one is also coming. This is the Wahala palette, and this is $36. It says, a one-of-a-kind first 20-pan eyeshadow palette with intense colors for Juvia's Place. A beautiful mix of textures varying from high-quality dual chromes, soft pearl shades, creamy mattes, and glitters. All right, so this wouldn't be one that I would purchase for myself if I was like going out to spend my own money on it. I don't think $36 is a bad price, but I don't do larger eyeshadow palettes these days. I really like smaller ones. So with this being a 20 pan palette, I just know that I would skip over it. There's obviously some brighter colors in here too, but there's also some really beautiful, like the shade uh, Pride, Unafraid, Envy, kind of these like purple and then like that pinky bob. Those are beautiful. Like I could like, that's kind of like where my eyes, my eyes went, but even some of the greens, like, um, like some of these like emerald shades on the other side, there's a gold in there. And it, it's really pretty. It's an interesting mix of colors, but the packaging is gorgeous too. I feel like Juvia's Place usually just totally nails it in that area but again just a larger palette with I wouldn't use like every single shade in here I wouldn't have grabbed it myself but I'm very excited to get it if you guys want to see a video with it or an Instagram tutorial with it or something along those lines swatches uh, let me know what you guys want to see because I don't have it yet but I am supposed to be receiving it so just wanted to let you know there but I got a lot of tags on this one too a lot of people seem excited for it so definitely let us know your thoughts in the comments uh, I also got some tags on the new release from Beauty Bakery. It's I think it's because there's there's ice cream in this photo, and a lot of you guys know how much I love my ice cream. Who, if you keep up with me in a few other places, um, Instagram, if you watch my stories and uh, Twitter, I've said a couple things. 
I'm I have tried to switch up my diet I have been doing this for almost three weeks now I think it's been um, I started at the beginning of May trying to trying to do a 180 on my diet for health reasons and um, it's been tough but um, I have not had ice cream in over two weeks um, it's not something that I'm going to like never let myself have and I was actually thinking about maybe going and getting ice cream yesterday Which was a Sunday. I was like, maybe we could drive this place and I could get this really good hot fudge Sunday And then it was just like a cold rainy windy day and I was like ew like ew No, I want like a sunny beautiful bright day where I can go get ice cream as a treat and sit outside with Mitch and my dog and We can just all enjoy our ice cream. So I was like no bad day I have been really trying hard to make some healthy changes. I'm planning to do kind of probably like a chatty get ready with me kind of like a life update sort of thing going into it a little bit more and talking about like what I've cut out and what I've replaced it with and just different things like that because I've definitely been getting asked a lot of questions. Um, so I thought I could just do a whole video about it. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely let me know. Uh, and I... I, I just figured I could incorporate it into like a get ready with me style video, of course. Um, but yeah, so this photo makes me so hungry for ice cream, 1000%. But we have, these are the bars by Beauty Bakery. So there's the Neapolitan bar and then the brownie bar. Oh my gosh, both, like literally I can feel like my mouth watering right now. But these palettes do look super cute. Um, both are face palettes. Um, I really like the one that has more of the pink blush in there. I think that one would be better suited towards my skin tone. So that would be the Neapolitan bar. It looks really, really nice. I try to avoid like highlight palettes, blush palettes, different things like that. But I like duos or trios. And I like trios where there's a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. So this one does look really pretty. Um, I... I don't know if it's something that I feel like I need to rush out and grab. I did just pick up a new bronzer and a new blush. I am wearing the Tower 28 blush again um, that I picked up in my Sephora haul. So I don't think I like need it, but I do think that it's really pretty and love like love the packaging, love the marketing, love all of that. <laughs> Lorac is coming out with a new collection. This is the Lux Diamond Golden Hour Summer Collection by Lorac. Inspired by the beautiful hues that Golden Hour exudes, Golden Rays of Warm Light includes the Golden Hour Palette. That's $35 and it is uh, a six pan highlighter palette. There's also lip glosses for $19 each. There's 10 different shades. There's also eye gloss trios. These are $23. It's a liquid gel formula. These are available now at Ulta Beauty. No, these are available now. Lorac Cosmetics will be available in June at Ulta Beauty. Okay, so like I just mentioned, I try not to, to purchase the highlighter palette. I just don't reach for them as much. So definitely the highlighter palette doesn't catch my attention right now. The lip glosses I think are fine. I don't think that I need any new ones. I just finished up my declutter series and my last four videos were all focused on my lip collection, lip liners, lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, and then the last video that went up, the final, final finale in my entire declutter series was my bullet lipsticks so um, I'm feeling really successful with my lip declutters and if you missed any of them I can link my declutter series too if you like declutters because I did go in pretty hard and with my declutters I do also like to give like little mini reviews of each product so you know, if you're curious about lip formulas and things like that, I swatched all of my mauve bullet lipsticks next to each other also, so you can try to find like some dupes in there too from my collection. So I will definitely link my declutter series also, but I don't think that I need any of the glosses and the eyeglass trios. Just don't think I'd need those either. Lorac isn't a brand that really captures my attention quite as much these days, but uh, the packaging looks nice. You can let us know if you're interested in that one from Lorac, but I will be passing it for myself. Okay, so let's see. Um, House Labs is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. And looking at this, when I first saw the photo on Trend Mood, I didn't know who it was going to be. When I saw House Labs, I was like, okay. I don't know if I want to say that. I feel like sometimes... What do I want to say? Let's think about what you want to say first, Samantha. I don't know if I'm trying to say that. I feel like maybe House Labs doesn't quite have an identity yet because there's been some releases that come out that I'm like, huh, really? House Labs? But... I, maybe that's like their thing. I don't know. I don't know. This is the Stupid Love palette. We have 18 shades of full intensity pigment inspired by Lady Gaga's sixth album, Chromatica. 
that's cool. Colors in cool and warm tones and taking your look from a subtle pop to a bold celebration with multiple finishes and a silky smooth textures that unite to put the power of love in your hands. And this is $48. Will be available May 19th online at House Labs. You can also find House Labs online at uh, Amazon. Uh, I'm not really interested in this palette myself. Again, 18 shades, a little bit bigger. I really like, like 12 pans is kind of my sweet spot. I like nine pans. I like even smaller palettes too, five, six pans. So this one is just bigger and there's a lot of blues in here and I really don't wear blues often. Uh, so this definitely wouldn't be a palette for me, but I was kind of like, huh, that's interesting. Cause the last palette they came out with was like a very kind of like your warm toned kind of like, I don't know if I want to say basic neutral palette. And a lot of people were like, huh? <laughs> so, I mean, I'm glad that they're doing something with a little bit more color. I think it's cool that it's inspired by the Lady Gaga release and everything, but still doesn't get my attention. But of course, I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, of course, I feel like I... I've been trying to um, take weekends, especially Saturdays. Usually Saturdays is my day to really kind of detox from social media. I don't post on YouTube. I usually don't post on Instagram. Um, I If I post anything on Twitter, it's like very rare. I'll share a few stories here and there, but I try to really take Saturday off. Don't really look at my emails so much, but I try just to like disconnect. <laughs> But uh, even even I saw in my social media detox that Jeffree Star Cosmetics is coming out with the new eyeshadow palette. I mean, I was seeing this in a lot of different places, um, even like news outlets were picking up the story because it definitely caused a lot of buzz. So I will try to get through this segment as quickly as I can because I'm not going to lie. I've been kind of like dragging my feet getting ready and filming for this video because I know that this is just going to cause so much controversy and just... That's what always happens when I talk about the new releases, which is why I usually skip over them. But I, here, yay, here we go. Pump yourself up, girl. Pump yourself up. Pump yourself up. Jeffree Star Cosmetics is releasing the Cremated Collection. Um, it includes the Cremated Eyeshadow Palette, 24 shades for $58. They have mattes and a new Extreme Sparkle Metallic Formula. There's also glosses that are $18 each. There's a black and white black marble travel bag for $30, a white marble makeup bag, or I think that's supposed to say, $25, and a cremated metal straw set for $19.99. Will be available May 22nd at 10 a.m. PST at Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Okay, so the eyeshadow pal palette is 24 shades. I'm just going to touch on the palette right now. The eyeshadow palette is 24 shades. Again, I've already said it with, what, two other palettes in this video, two, three other palettes. That's just a bigger palette for me. I'm more interested in the smaller palettes. So kind of immediately I was like, I know that this one isn't for me. I bought anything from Jeffree Star in the past either, but you know, I, if something seems really interesting to me from a brand, it's something that I really want. You know, I can give things a double take and kind of talk my way through it. But kind of immediately when I saw this, I was like, I mean, he comes out with a lot of larger palettes, so I kind of immediately just knew that it wasn't going to be for me. The color scheme, I think, is interesting. You know, obviously very cool toned, a lot of different grays in here. Um, I don't have a ton of cool toned palettes in my collection, but I will say that a favorite of mine is from ColourPop. It's the Blowing Smoke palette. It first released as the Smoke Show, and now it's the Blowing Smoke. I mentioned that in, in my eyeshadow palette tag video that I did recently, which also thank you so much to everyone who's been doing the tag. Allie and I are like shocked <laughs> that so many people have done this tag. We did not think people would love that video um, as much as they do. So thank you to everyone who's been doing the tag. Please t like, tag me on like Twitter or Instagram because I'm trying to add all of them to my list to make sure that I watch every single one of them. So thank you guys so much. But that one is, um, what is that? That's a nine pan palette. And if you like kind of the palettes where it looks like maybe there's a black and white filter on it, like if you're interested in things like that, that one is what, $12, $15 or something like that from the ColourPop website, and I like it a lot. I would highly recommend it if that's kind of more your speed or if you just like the smaller palettes. So for me, I, I don't think that I would need this palette for everything that I just said. Um, and again, the gloss, Jeffree Star usually comes out with kind of like different products with the collections, which I always think is fun. Like, I think that's fun and different. I think that's a cool thing to do. Um, I don't need any makeup bags right now that I just purchased once from Allie Glines, actually. I got the whole big set going on for when I can travel again one day. I'm gonna take those bags and it's gonna be 
epic. <laughs> um, and then I actually also just bought metal straws from the Over Cosmetics website. They started offering those also. So I'm good there. So that's kind of what I think about the collection. I know a lot of people have been talking about the name and everything and that it's maybe not the best time to put out something like this. I did see, um, you know, what I, I think that was on like Twitter maybe or something that I saw Jeffrey say that this is a word that doesn't bother him. He's had family members cremate it and, you know, animals cremate it and it's just a part of the life and death process and um, you know it doesn't bother him I would just say you know just because it doesn't bother one person it can bother another person and just because it does bother one person that doesn't mean that it bothers everybody it's such a thing like this um, am I shocked to see this no um, do I think that this collection is still gonna do really well and probably sell out yes I mean I, I, I just just being honest, like I think that it will still do totally fine. Do I think that there is a bit of a like cringe factor just because of what we're going through as a world? Yes. Um, you know, for me, I have also had family members be cremated. We have lost three people um, in my family in the past six months, including an uncle recently to COVID-19. So for me, it doesn't really put me in the best spot when I look at something that just says cremated really big and um, having names like funeral, par funeral parlor and six feet under. Um, we have a death that is still really fresh right now. So that's kind of hard for me. Um, but, you know, I mean, everyone's different and some people will be affected differently. For me, I'm just not a really big fan of this, but I also at the same time can't be like, wow, I'm so surprised that he's doing that. But those are my thoughts. You can definitely leave yours down below. I would just say try to try to keep it kind um, and that's all. But let's move on. Influencer brands. I see that Lunar Beauty is coming out with some new releases. This is Manny MUA's line, which by the way, Manny looks like fantastic in this promo photo and I love the pearls on there. Um, beautiful. So uh, he's coming out with the blush palette. This has six shades for $35. There's going to be glosses, $17 each or $40 for a bundle, or you can get the full collection for $60 will be available May 20th at Lunar Beauty and May 29th at Sephora. I already talked about this, trying to stay away from those, so I wouldn't purchase the blush palette for myself. I don't have any blush palettes left in my collection. I've decluttered all of them. The glosses definitely do look really pretty. These, I'm, I'm just like these really light tones. All of them look really quite stunning. Um, $17 each. I did just get a highlighter recently from Lunar Beauty and I think that it is really nice the prism highlight really nice great quality I thought it looked so good on so the glosses definitely did catch my attention I just don't think that I need them right now but I think the the collection does look really beautiful all right let's see um from Bobbi Brown they're coming out with the summer glow collection we have a highlighting powder for $48 a bronzing powder duo for $44 crushed oil infused glosses for $27 there's a blending brush for $50 and two longwear cream shadow stick and for $30 and these are existing shades um Bobbi Brown doesn't normally catch my attention very much I I don't know what it is it just isn't a brand that like immediately pulls to me I do think the duos look really pretty again I'm more of a fan of duos than I am some of these larger palettes but I don't think that I need them at this time just wanted to mention that for sure though I do see that trend mood we do have the I think this is the full box five now yeah and volume 5 will be available Thursday, May 21st at 10 a.m. PST. If you are interested in the Trend Mood box, I do recommend getting your name on the list. I will have the link down below. If you put your email in for the list, you actually get access earlier than when it drops. And that can be a good thing because a lot of these boxes have sold out and some of them have sold out really quickly. There's only been one box that I tried to get myself. It was the second box, but I was too late and it already sold out. But we do have what is in volume 5. And this is going to be $62. The boxes do vary per month. And just because you sign up for one box doesn't mean that you're signed up for all of them, kind of like you would like a boxy charm or an Ipsy. It is just like a one-time basis because the products changed and the prices also change. So this one is $62. Inside, you get from Murad their new Vitamin C Glycolic Brightening Serum. I actually have this. I got this sent to me from Murad, and I really do like it. I also do really like their new Vitamin C Eye Cream that they came out with. I would recommend both of those. 
From Pharmacy Beauty, we have the new Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer and the Green Clean Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. I actually just got a deluxe size of that cleansing balm in one of my Sephora orders, so I'm excited to try that out. From Love Kinship, I touched on this last week. This is the Mint Mud, a rinse-off mask to exfoliate. Uh, also, the Self-Reflect Probiotic Moisturizing Sunscreen Zinc Oxide SPF 32. From Skin FX, there is the Eczema and Hand Repair Cream. Great idea to come to have that in the box right now. A lot of people need that, myself included. Hello. Also, the Eczema and Foaming Oil Body Wash for dry, sensitive, and eczema-prone skin. There's also the Cheeky Blush Palette from Catrice Cosmetics and Iman. I actually did get this one sent to me in PR as well. That's a palette with four universal blush shades, three matte, and one pearl finish. Okay, so this is a really interesting box. Definitely a lot of like skincare and body care in here, which I think totally makes sense. Um, I think this is a, like a really well put together box. I don't think I need it for myself because I have a lot of the products mentioned in here and the ones I don't have, I'm not like really jonesing for. So for $62, it wouldn't make sense for me to grab this one. Um, but again, there's some really nice products in here. So let us know if you are going to try to give that Trend Mood box. Last thing I have is just some skincare from e.l.f. Cosmetics. They are coming out with a CBD collection. So we have a moisturizer for 15, a facial oil for 18, a body cream for 18, an eye cream for 15 or the full collection for $66. I don't think that I need this for myself. I'm not super attracted to the CBD line. I do have one oil and this is from Herbivore, I believe it is, um, that has the CBD oil in it. I've tried it a few times. I can't say I really noticed anything like super wow with it myself. I did also get some new products from Milani from their new CBD line that I can definitely test out. I actually got quite a few requests to do that in last week's Will I Buy It video where I talked about it. So I don't think I need any of this myself from e.l.f. And I'm definitely pretty good on skincare because I picked up some new products as well recently. Uh, other than that though, that is going to be everything for this week's Will I Buy It video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely let me know what you thought down below. What has your attention? What are you not so interested in? I always enjoy to read the comments. Thank you guys again so much for supporting this series. I appreciate it. We're just on the road to 300 can you imagine if we get to 300 episodes that will be insane that's such a long ways away but also and i totally forgot to say that we also just hit 95,000 subscribers which is wild so i had the beginning of this video planned out to say like thank you for supporting last week's video but then we also hit 95,000 subscribers thank you that's that number to me is big that's a big number um it's kind of like daunting to say. Definitely will keep working hard and showing up. I think I have some really fun videos planned for you also. I have some more fun collabs coming up and um, yeah, I'm just so appreciative. So I definitely wanted to say thank you there. So thank you guys. <laughs> Thanks for being in the Sam Squad. I appreciate it so much. All right though, that is it. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.